piece of equipment made in Delhi, Iowa. Everything we use here is made in the U.S. We're using an Eaton hydraulic motor and an Auburn gear reduction system. The idea behind this is to handle land clearing materials up to seven inch. What you, what you currently see out there in these high flow models, you will not see in this unit. This unit has a front door on it. So when you come into the material, instead of having exposed blades, this slides up out of the way. What that does is that exposes four swinging blades that come out. So these blades are three quarter inch thick AR400 abrasion resistant steel. This one's beveled on the bottom. The next one will come through and is beveled on the top, followed by the bottom and the top. So what you're creating is an axe chop. So you're never hitting the same spot twice. It's always chipping away at it. Marty, can you roll it back? Underneath here, we have 18 carbide tip stump grinder teeth. This is what allows you to mulch the material up to the to the to the material that you see here on the ground. Instead of having a lot of big pieces of wood all over, this allows you to grind it up. This will take you down pretty close to flush to the ground within an inch. You're going to have AR400 skid shoes on the side plates. They are bolt-on and replaceable, so you're not wearing into the side of the deck. Yeah. Still lower this down. So as that tree comes down, you don't want these blades exposed. So that door shuts. Now all your material is contained in there, so you don't have a lot of space. The depth is a very smooth finish. You'll see our competition has ribs in here for reinforcement because they're not using the heavy gauge metal that we are, and it becomes an issue if you have to clean this out. As a smooth depth, you can take a hose, you can take an air pressure, you just blow this right out this opening in the back. And of course, as, a, as an operator sitting from inside the seat, you have access, you will see the site pressure gauge. It's a set of relief at 3,500 PSI. When that needle gets pegged all the way up, you know you're in there crowding the material a little too much and you need to back off and let it do its job. And again, it's driven by an Eaton hydraulic motor. No case drain required. It internally dumps the oil back into the motor so we don't need a third line. What's this called again? This is the Bradco Ground Shark.